right, Virgo. How are you guys doing? Let me know down in the comments. Franklin is visiting. He just walked in the room to say hi to all my Virgos out there. What does spirit have for you, Virgo? What messages does spirit want to relay over to you that they want you to hear? Virgo, everyone is getting, getting a seven of pentacles energy, but five of pentacles is here, my loves. King of pentacles is here, my loves. King of pentacles and five of pentacles reversed. We have four of wands, upright or reversed with the King of Pentacles, the Chariot with the King of Pentacles. Um, King of Pentacles is Chariot with the Ace of Swords reversed or upright, which however you want to see it. Um, Ace of Swords with the Strength card, my loves. So right away, I can see that just like the rest of the Zodiac, everyone's getting the Seven of Pentacles right now which makes a lot of sense because at the time of me filming this, Sun card, Three of Wands, at the time of me filming this, a lot of the planets, if they're not retrograde, they're about to be retrograde. If they were once retrograde, they're moving direct. And what's happening is that we're all getting called into a space of observation. But what are you observing, Virgo? Speak to me. Queen of Swords is here as well as the Justice card. And she is trying so hard to do the right thing. Thing, or trying to believe that what is happening is for her greatest greatest and best interest but with the queen of swords does is it with the justice card here everything is transforming with the death card here justice and the death card everything is changing hope hopefully there's this belief that is for your highest and greatest good virgo but the queen of swords is sometimes skeptical. Um, sometimes she needs a little bit of proof. And I'm saying she because queen, queens are showing up here, but this is for anybody. And the queen of wands is here as well. So justice is showing up a lot. And this is about cause and effect. Big time cause and effect. If I do this, this is what's going to happen. If I don't do this, this is what's going to happen. Um, not in a way that needs to come with a punishment or a reward. Look, six of pentacles, what you give comes back in different forms and different variations. Um, so what is the point of this spirit? What are you trying to say? Empress energy, my love. Empress energy. Ten of pentacles. Ace of swords reversed. Ace of swords. Ace of Cups reverse, Ten of Swords, Temperance, Two of Swords. <sighs> Two of Swords and the Temperance is really standing out to me. Oh, look at this. So you guys can't see this, but I put the Empress at the top. Ten of Pentacles in the past, Ten of Swords in the future. Just kind of trumping it. Temperance and the Two of Swords. Do you guys see what I'm doing here? In the center and then Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups at the base. So what we are doing is we have a queen energy or empress energy or someone, something of high self-worth and high self-value sitting on the banks with her body on the earth and her tail in the water and divine intervention above her head. And right now what she's doing is she's waiting. She's waiting and what is happening here is that she's, whether she or he wants to, they are surrendering to the status quo. They are surrendering to this current moment and doing the best that they can with that. Um, they feel called to do that. I don't know if you guys can see the similarities between the temperance card and the empress, but both are holding a shell. And for me, the shell represents what once carried life. It represents a message. It represents, it, um, uh, I don't know why I say this, but noise. It represents what we're able to hear. Um, and with the Ace of Swords, my loves, you guys have been s not stuck, but kind of in this space of mind versus heart, brain versus feelings, like logic versus feelings. And 
in that you understand and you're standing firm and sitting in a space of high self-worth and self-value really wanting to experience and gain more for yourself while things are kind of working themselves out however it feels like there's something that you want to hear it feels like something is um as you're waiting there i'm not gonna lie it's it, it, with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups here, it feels like something is getting pulled out and getting depleted. Um, and I'm feeling like with the Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, we want to make sure, like, she's stable, like, she's protected, she's abundant, she's thriving, she's high worth and high value, but she's still, there's an, I don't say an imbalance. Oof. Let's see what this is all about. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. The Tower card, Six of Pentacles here. It's what we give versus and what we take and this balance. Like, it, there's a disruption there. And I think, Virgo, that you are in a space right now where you really clearly ask for more or you're demanding more for yourself or you emotionally need to be poured in more or you emotionally want to give more or you like and you're you you want that you know you're worth that virgo you have queen of wands here so you know that you are worth it you know that you're a catch you know that there is a lot of potential within you and you know where would this be coming from actually like that's the other question too like where is this coming from and the thing is i just heard when i looked at the ten of pentacles all the different sources all the different sources that it can come from all the different places that abundance can be pulled from death card that's the thing that's being transformed right now is that oh hanged man see what i'm saying this is what's being transformed right now there are certain people's circumstances situations that have not been able to meet you where you stand ten of cups they want to provide or they have the potential to provide the happily ever after the, the, the complete and whole picture for the queen of wands type of energy however i don't know that they have what it takes three of pentacles right now they don't have what it takes three of pentacles reverse with the judgment card there is a feeling in a space of abandonment rejection letting go and stopping something before it goes on any further and now there's a space of assessment because it's the right thing to do and an inability to move forward, an inability to invest, um, wanting to invest, not knowing how. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> mm. Yes. Someone just pulled out in front of my, hey, how's it going? I see you in front of my house. Don't make me get my machete. Virgo, my love. Um, this energy here of death card, ten of cups, ten of pentacles, ten of swords. What are we missing? The only thing that's not missing is ten of wands. You want to know why, Virgo? Because you decided I'm not picking it up. You decided I'm not picking this up. That's the one. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but... When I do tarot, when I teach tarot, I, I teach my students um, within the Sacred Circle Tarot School, it's not about what's here, it's also about what's not here. And the Ten of Wands decided that it's not showing up. And that means that Virgo, you decided that you are not carrying this for anybody else. You are not carrying the weight on the burden. They, it, whatever it is, has to transform all by itself. And as painful as it is for you to watch it, struggle and suffer, you are still, choosing to allow nature or allow time or evolution or the process to play to play its course and that is actually the justice card here that is what is fair um mother nature doesn't care about feelings mother nature doesn't care about what you want she cares about balance and making sure that things are balanced and that is actually what you are working on virgo is having a healthy sense of balance and i don't think okay the thing is virgo like you also have a lot of tens here i'm gonna leave out the empress here um and also the queen of wands because these two cards represent you very very well and also the queen of pentacles um i'm also getting like look at look at the sisterhood here 
look at the sisterhood look at the friendship look at the partnership the 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 circle like this is a like these are the girls we want to hang out with you know <laughs> if you're not hanging out with them or if you're not them or these are not the aspects within yourself then this is what is manifesting but it is these each one of these women or each one of these aspects within yourself she give a lot they give a whole lot and they also require a whole lot. You want to know why? Because they can. They What they are asking are things that they contribute. Like they know that they're an equal balanced partner. They know that they're an equal balanced uh, connection or an equal balanced you know, give and receiver. Six of Pentacles keeps showing up, my loves. So what is this star above the Empress's head? This is when we're going to work with the Lenormand here, Virgo. Mm, I just feel like you're you're working with energy that's a little bit if it's not a lot of if it's not a whole person or a whole situation it's something that needs to grow up a little bit you know so if it's a business it that you just started it has to kind of mature if it's a person it has to mature if it's a new goal, it has to, it's like anything that you're touching, it has to mature and the man just jumped out. It has to grow up. And the thing is, he's watching, this thing is watching. Um, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, either she's with her friends or she, oh, and the ring here. Um, or these are aspects within herself, but either way, how she feels about herself is um, mirrored out into the into the world around her so you're not gonna see things around her that she's engaging with that do not match who she is right now because she's cut that out why because she's not she doesn't embody that energy anymore why because she doesn't engage in it anymore why because she's not listening to it anymore why because she's not investing into it anymore why because it doesn't ignite her it doesn't make her sparked up it doesn't make her happy so you're not going to see it in her world because she's it needs to evolve in order to even catch her attention again you know mm. and that's bossy some people say like Yep, the chitter chatter. Some people say think that there's a lot that she might be asking too much, or this person or this thing might be asked, saying that she's asking too much, or that the requirement is too high. But also, look how he's slumped. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna hurt some feelings. How how can you say that the Empress is asking for too much? when this is your vibe he's literally slumped over so who are you speaking to you know what i mean like who who are you saying that <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of hilarious to be honest and all of this i say respectfully <laughs> of course because it's there too and every single one of us we all have our own journeys don't get me wrong but it's there with the store card here. It's literally, if you accept it, then it will be so. And if not, then it's not going to be your reality. And you choose, you choose your world. Um, you paint your own picture. But with the store card, it's all about anything that is pushing us to grow is typically for our highest and greatest good. And I can see with the store card here, something is truly being built underneath and around the empress energy and it has to evolve it should evolve in a small amount of time it's going to be lucky everything the empress touches is is gold and goals you know because and also she she inspires herself she inspires her community and she has people around her or he has people around him that inspire them. So if this is not you, or if you are the this male, um, you kind of have to choose and look at, take an assessment. Everyone is getting the Seven of Pentacles. 
make an assessment on your life if these people or these things are not what you want and see for yourself and not on a superficial level you got to dive deep here if it's not what you see and want for yourself don't engage in it it's got to get cut out the empress is doing that and the, this is what spirit is saying and invite in the energy of growth here really strong powerful growth because the it is really and empress energy queen of pentacles queen of wands if this is you or if you know if you're a cross watcher or whatever um i'm seeing you a little cloudy right now i think it's because you're kind of watching you've been kind of pulled back and watching and almost a little entertained i'm not gonna lie it looks like you're a little entertained here kind of watching but also life you know with this death card is life it's rebirth always i always see it as that i'm just seeing you kind of being really clear on your intention for yourself because anytime when you end something Anytime when you set a standard, yeah, you want to speak new life into it. Yeah. Um, flowers and the corpse here. So <sighs> celebrate what has like acknowledge what is what is ending, what's being laid to rest. Um, but also start to envision and or continue to envision and to manifest and you know what you want start to look for that start to really virgo start to really look for that um but also know what you're looking for does that make sense i hope that makes sense yeah we have the child here we have the book we have the moon card we have the bear again the mask and the blade came out so it's not what you how what you think you what others might see and observe because there is there's a superficial energy there too as well virgo um it's what you want emotionally what you want and discovering that and the child can represent a child of course but it can represent newness and just being excited and looking forward looking towards the future um with bright eyes and just really having a, a, a good high standard for yourself um not in the way that is unattainable and unreachable but that it just helps to balance out how much you do give virgo but also make sure that you are giving more to yourself that you're giving because virgo typically gives a lot <laughs> typically gives a lot and virgo you are evolving i would love to dive into this a little bit more further but we gotta close it out virgo i love you let me know if this helps you um, hit the thumbs up button is the best way to do that because it expands my reach and make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you in my next one.